Okay, so a hundred yard shot for me, I could either hit uh, like a ten a ten and a half o'clock, not quite full, but three quarters aggressive, sixty degree, and I can hit it a hundred, or I can grab my fifty four and like nine o'clock smooth, and that goes a hundred, and that's gonna more skip and roll out. Like if I have a back pin. Where if I have a front pin, I'd use this and I'd try to hit it up and spin it so it stops right away. But that's yeah, it's yeah. Well, if I go like eleven o'clock, I just hit a higher and spinnier. Yeah. So so we'll try to. I'm kind of stiff. I just realized, but set up again. Slightly open, inside shoulder width, ball middle of my stance, get my weight left, and keep it there as I swing back. I don't want to, I want a real stable lower body. I don't want to be moving around. So, I'll hit this. Oh, God, I was stuck and I pulled it, but... Okay, so then how would... I hit it 90. That was uh, 98 in total, 96. So what would you do if you were me to hit it 90? Yeah, so like 9 o'clock. Is in aggressive would be 90. So this is a tricky one. This gets into trajectory. So... I'm going to hit my stock one and see if it works. But we don't have much room between the water and the flag, right? So, let me see if it'll work. Is that going to stop? Yeah. So that's, but it's a soft setting probably. But if I, I could grab my... 56 like so what what i'm trying to show you is you have different options huh yeah so like i was say that pin was tucked closer so i actually had a shot in the tournament last on monday where i had 78 yards and i couldn't really get it like i had to get it over a tree pretty quick but i was in the fairway so i opened up over because it was like a bank in front and so and I could get it over, but at 78 yards, so I opened up my 60, like just a little bit, like Phil Mickelson can tell you the amount of degrees, but I can't, I just look at it. And then I took my nine, nine o'clock swing, which is a 90 yard shot. And it was actually my best wedge shot of the day to like a foot, but when, so with this one, I'm gonna do the same concept. This is my 54, but I'm going to open it a little bit and do nine o'clock. And so if you have a situation like I was just talking about, or say the greens were firm and they're not going to spin, you might want to do this where you open it and just take more club. And that will go higher. Sit. So you have a variety of shots you can play. So um, now trajectory, and then we'll practice this outside, but like low, so so I'll hit, uh, I'm just gonna do my stock swing, like with a wedge, it's like three quarters. I don't go further than that. So, and I'll, so we'll be able to see the uh, trajectory. So launch angle tells how high it takes off, off the face. And then height is obviously the peak height of the shot. So, I'll just do my stock. So, it should be a little long, but let's see what the launch angle. Launch angle was 22, and then when I hit that high one before, it said 30, right? So, now if I want to hit it higher and not open the face, one thing I can do is just use my follow through. I'm going to finish high to hit it high. And then if I'm going to hit a low, I'm going to finish low. That's one way. 
And I also use ball position. So I'll move it back for low and forward for high. So if I go high, move a little forward and I'm gonna finish more up. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, so that was 32. In that one, I swung full though, so I got it higher versus uh, 89, 90, yeah, yeah. And then now I'll do a low one, so you can kind of see the difference. And for me, hitting a low one, I change my setup a little bit. I like to do like a low draw with the wedge, so I get more square with my feet. And I put it a hair back too. Well, yeah, that goes. It helps you draw it and hit it low. So, twenty one point eight. What was it? Twenty two or twenty three was my stock. Yeah, it was only a degree lower, but. Yeah, does that all make sense? So like you you want to know how to hit all the shots and when to use what club because they should kind of overlap in distances. Like your full 60 should be like your half 56 or something. And then you'd use your half 56 if you're going to chase it back. You'd hit your full 60 if you got to stop it quickly. Make sense? And the setup is mainly everything. And then it's just being stable and staying left and if you start hitting it left it's probably because you're not being aggressive enough keep your chest turning through impact make sense 